Hi guys. Okay, so I haven't done this in a while, but I think I, I really haven't done this for more than a year now. So I wanted to revisit the maps that I commonly use and I see that a lot of people send me questions and uh, queries on where to find specific maps. So I'm just going to go through them and I'm gonna share my thoughts. So there's not much with the, like the, the two to four man maps. So I'm gonna start with the eight man maps. So for Wasteland Warbands, um, there are good locations over here. Uh, this is like, a, it's surrounded by water, but it's on a low land, it's not elevated. This one is an elevated space. This one is also an elevated space. It's good. These ones are two for uh, good for two, two, two to three bases uh, gathered together. Um, this is available on the same forums.net something where the rest of the mod maps are. So I recommend that you get this. It's called Wasteland Warbands. I have a lot of videos on this map, I think. A, a good eight to ten and then next is the serpent sun the serpent sun not much elevated terrain but you can go ahead and check it's very interesting it's uh, there's a lot of greenery and a lot of walking so it's a wide map well speaking of wide maps uh the last sanctuary is breathtaking impressive but exhausting there's it's it's like literally i feel like it's twice no it's three times the size of center ring when it comes to walking distance it's really tiring to walk around this map but but you can go ahead and check it out my recommended places would be this one this is a single entry and then you can have towers on both ends and i also recommend this one because this is the only entrance so you can build a secluded base here um as well as the others but this one this is not elevated this is actually this goes down um and the others are just too open for me so i rarely use this map unless if it's you know tower defense northern sanctuary Fun map, lots of places to move around. You can you can also download it. Former side of Meteor, I like this part. This, this, this. But this is a crater. So that there's only one path. But the problem is the uneven terrain mm, doesn't allow you to be creative when it comes to placing your watchtower. So I recommend this one. This is the entrance, so it goes around. So I've had a lot of videos here where I could place all of my archers here or musketeers so they can, uh, you know, kill the entire army that's fast approaching. Just put your heroes here, just for fodder. <laughs> and uh, th this is a fat chance, but if you do get this part, it's my favorite part because this is where you water and rice it's isolated it's protected and you will never be invaded so you just put all of your watchtowers here it's perfect for per for tower defense and i wanted to say kill the keep or there's another one la 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 la, la. um one versus seven i've done it uh using uh this map so tear at home is an odd map so this is my favorite place uh, this is my only favorite place um, out of all the eight places spirit island choose the one with the F um, all of these maps you can freely google them by name and then download them because a lot of people are asking me where I get the maps. They even ask if I'm the one who makes these maps. Um, sorry, I'm running 
uh, a little cold because of the weather here in the Philippines. But I am as healthy as a bee. Just saying, not being defensive. But as I was saying, um, yeah, so I don't make the maps. I, I just, you know, I, I just search for mod maps uh, and then download them and then use them. I delete them if I don't like them, but at least I tried. So Spirit Island is a good place. I, uh, my preferred locations is actually any, but I've tried it here and there several times. It makes me happy. So next is, these are built-in maps. Ah, this one, the Sacred Spire. This is aesthetically pleasing. So this is the entrance. And there's a side entrance, so it depends. I would recommend this if you're playing with a friend so that you can guard the other entrance and you could focus on the main one. This is a ground downward path which opens up to your entire base. The entire base is uh, spacious, so it's really large enough to, to house two bases. I've done it before for a two versus six setup just because I don't like being invaded when I'm designing my base. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. This, uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be mansion. You know what, L let me Google that. Th this is uh, triggering my pet peeve. Okay, so I was right. Because I was thinking that maybe there's a word, uh, like if Madison is a word or, you know, a foreign slang or jargon, I'm not sure, but see, it's called, it's supposed to be mansion. And rightfully so. Um, the only thing that's wrong about this map is that the water source is there. And I kid you not, if you're not the wolf clan, you have to send your peasants all the way there and create a hut there. And all of the other clans will also create a hut there. So it's going to be a War of the Worlds type of thing. You would always get this base if you set it on 1 versus 7. This is the spot you're going to get. Or the this one. So if you get this one, it's an elevated terrain. You can create an entire empire over here rigged with watchtowers it's going to be fun okay layer of the lotus is my favorite it's it's as wide as it's this one so for where is it for layer of the lotus all, all of the locations are good it's just that there's a lot of walking and the paths are confusing so there are paths behind rocks that you'll never see, but the characters can. So, you know, if you have the patience for that, that's, I don't use it that much. Helm's Deep, inspired by the Lord of the Rings, definitely. Um, but the problem is there's, there's too much open land. This is like, there are four base, bases here, and then four more here. The best location is this one. This is only one base. But the the way you build the the buildings are too far apart. So if that's fine with you, then you know, go for it. This one is ideal if you're playing with a friend. It really gives you the feeling that you're defending Helm's Deep. So go for it. Great Mountains. You know what? This patch of land, I, I feel like it's as big as the center ring. It's too huge and the walking distance is like, you know, you should have just played Dota 2 or League of Legends for this round. It's it's too far, it's too wide, but it's a nice map nonetheless. It's like three teams can fit in here. Just saying. So, what else? Fantasy land. It's nice, it's just wide spaces. Fallen capital. This is the master base. There are two entrances, but these huge you can create a capital around here um also these guys these are twin entrances ideal for for duos 
Demon Crater. Uh, it's fiery. It's nice. I have nothing to say about it or against it. It's unpopular. But, you know, I, I don't use this map that much. Probably because there's not much favorable terrain for me. Because, you know, I, I like sniping. Mm, it's fine. You can check it out. You can check it out. Dungeon entrance. I've used this several times. This is actually good. This is an entrance. This is an elevated base. This one is also fine, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't remember the other bases. This is definitely open. But this is a good spot if you get it. Mm, Serpentera. Serpentera, it's fine. So the boxes that you see are walls. So these are very interesting. You can check it out. I think that's it. Because these are small maps. Um, okay, what I'm trying to say is go through the, the forums that I have included in the description of almost every video. And you search for the map, download it, paste it on your uh, the appropriate folder. I'm not sure how it looks like in, from your end. Um, but for me, it's under... What is it under? Hold on. I'm trying to recall. Hmm. I think it's under terrain. Ah, levels. Levels fo folder. But yeah, so thanks for listening. And for watching, um, see you in the next round. Let me get a play. Yeah, sure.